Often popular with guests and with higher entry fees possible compared to many thrill rides, the Go-Kart is one of the few roller coaster tycoon thrill rides with which you can custom build your own track. They aren't great at getting guests through quickly, which is part of the reason why they often have long queues, but they are also relatively cheap to build and operate. For a custom built ride, go karts is on the cheaper side. A station tile will cost 46 and a straight tile piece is 31. A turn is 24. Add a little bit if you're building above ground or below ground. Each station tile adds around two cars up to a maximum of 24 cars for the full length 12 tile station, even though those cars don't then use the full length of the station. Like any ride, having other nearby rides going close to its own track, near to scenery, over water or underground helps, but if too much of the ride is underground with go-karts, you will be penalised. This is the same ride above and below ground. Continuous circuit mode is possible with go-karts, but it does reduce excitement by quite a bit, so I wouldn't recommend. Adding laps can add excitement, but not significantly, and it does of course add a lot more time. This table shows the stats for the same go-karts I showed above and below ground, but now with a different number of laps. So extra laps is worth it if you've only got space for a small track, but ideally one bigger track is the best way to go with the go-karts. As thrill rides go, basic excitement is good. The very smallest possible ride has excitement just above three for just one lap. As always, scenery helps with around 0.01 excitement added for the first 50 scenery pieces, giving a potential boost of around 0.5 to the excitement. For example, here is the pre-built track castle carts with scenery, and again without. With go-karts, the longer they are, the higher the excitement, to an extent. This long straight loop got 6.6 .6 excitement with no additional features and just one lap, although the excitement stopped climbing at around 2,250 feet long. Add laps, scenery, other rides, over water and underground elements, and it becomes possible to get some really, really high excitement scores, although you may sacrifice guest turnover for that. Castle Carts is the only available track on the build menu in Roller Coaster Tycoon and Classic, but several scenarios begin with go karts already in place. Naturally, Carts and Coasters begins with two, King Carts and Turnpike, which both clock impressive excitement ratings. Katie's Dreamland has Richard's Wreckers, a short track which guests race for three laps. Megalol Park has a long track interlocking with other rides and scenery while Wacky World Scenario Japanese Coastal Reclaim has a short track with some small drops and hills. Several of the Six Flag Parks also have go-karts available. This truly is a ride you can have some fun with. Building them is not complicated, but huge excitement ratings are possible, and I'm yet to find a park where go-karts are not among the most popular attractions with guests. So, next time you're playing, why not see how much fun you can have building one?